And welcome back. We are tracking the potential for severe weather across the south, looking live at Memphis, Tennessee, and already starting to see, it looks like the ocean there in, just, in terms of just the choppiness of the water, and that is indicative of what is headed your way, not only in Memphis, but all you have to do is look at radar. And uh, yeah, you can see a lot of activity ahead of that, but Dr. Greg Postel is here, and uh, we already have the enhanced satellite here, and look at all that activity ahead of this. Yeah, oh. the stuff looks like the skies are pretty dark in Memphis. That would be right about there. Looks like there may be a new thunderstorm developing right near the, there, but the much bigger storms are way out here over Oklahoma and parts of southern Missouri and northern Arkansas, where we've had severe weather really all day long. Yeah, and it's been not only the um, damaging winds, but it's been the rain. This is something that we've been dealing with a lot, and it's not a fast moving system and we do have one good news that looks like that uh, changed at least the sphere thunderstorm watch is now expired for Oklahoma City but look what's happening farther off to the east farther off to the east this part of the watch box right in here goes until 3 p.m. Uh, central time so the part in eastern Arkansas sorry western Arkansas and eastern Oklahoma will go on for a few more hours with the risk for thunderstorms with strong straight line winds yep. and uh, some hail as well and of course a lot of heavy rain and this is oh. one of the reasons why look at this exactly. radar it's amazing, too. You can already see the Boeing there, so you're talking about straight-line winds, but there could be possibly a little bit of a spin-up here as well, although there, it's on the cool side. You're right. It is on the cool side of this front. North of that front, the temperatures are generally in the 50s at the surface, and oftentimes it's hard to get a lot of tornadic type of thunderstorms mm -hmm. with that kind of air right near the ground. But right on the leading edge of that bow, and I'll get to it in a second, there may be some brief spin-ups, as you mentioned, but certainly a line of very strong winds is going to be moving eastward across eastern Oklahoma, and then that's this stuff that's going to be moving through over the next couple of hours. Then later on today, mm. we're going to have to watch down here over northern Texas and southern Oklahoma. As everything begins to slide that way, that boundary begins to slip southward into that more unstable air. And I think we will see more of a tornado risk down there in north Texas. Yeah, later. and you can see with that satellite imagery there, too, there was a lot of open sky. So yeah. not only do we have that rich gulf moisture, but now we're starting to see that instability. We're starting to work its way toward the afternoon, and that's going to cause the uplift there. Yeah, exactly right. And uh, along that line, there are little patches where the winds are out we're flowing a little bit wow. stronger than other areas and that's what you can get those strong damaging wind gusts which is why the severe thunderstorm warning has been issued for those counties and those locations until let's see 12:30, so about another 35 minutes or so and this will continue to live on i think into wow. arkansas todd as we go yeah. through the afternoon hours and you know, we've been talking about all day i-40 this is just yep. going to be a rough ride along i-40 i wouldn't be surprised if i-30 gets in the action we we're talking a little bit toward the evening hours as we head uh, toward uh, seven eight nine o'clock or so. That's right. So this is today's threat moving into Arkansas. That's the mm -hmm. current storms. But I'll tell you what, overnight tonight, it's down here. Yep. And then tomorrow, it's here. And then Sunday, it's out in here. Yeah. So it's all moving. You were just talking about the two that Sunday, you're starting to get a little more concerned let's about that. Watch Georgia on Sunday. Yeah, let's talk a little bit more about that flood threat right now with Alexandra. All right. Thank you very much, you guys. Well, you know, we do have some